I went to the dentist on Wednesday, and the dentist is a horrible place of torture. You go there, you have to wait in the waiting room with the old magazines. Oh, they have a play area, but I'm too old to play in the play area. I'm too big to play in the play area. I don't want people getting the wrong impression of me, because I'm the 17-year-old kid playing in the Magic Castle. I was the king of that castle. I was the king. Then when you finally get in there, she's like, Hi, my name's Dr. Ann. I'll be cleaning your teeth today. She's wearing that mask over her face like she's some sort of open-heart surgeon. You're just cleaning my teeth. What are you, some sort of wanted criminal? You have some sort of crazy deformity right here? Why must you be so mysterious? And then they have that chair that, like, flattens it and you lay on it. There's a TV in the roof. That TV is never on. Not one time have I gone to the dentist has that TV been on for me to watch TV while you clean my teeth. Then they shine that bright light in your eyes. They give you sunglasses, but the sunglasses never do anything for it. Then they start asking you questions, like it's some sort of interrogation, trying to intimidate you with that bright light. They always ask the same questions, too. How often are you brushing? How often are you flossing? My answer is always the same. I don't floss. Then she's like, oh. She turns around, and she goes to her little computer, starts typing, like she's instant messaging with all her dentist buddies. LOL at his teeth. Then she breaks out her little tools and starts jabbing and prodding at my teeth, like she's trying to carve her name in my teeth in perfect cursive. Dr. Anne was here. And then she starts into the next little step in her procedure. It's polishing my teeth, and she breaks out her little car buffer and. And while she's waxing on and waxing off, I can feel the spit building up in the back of my throat. And I can't, no matter how hard I try, I can't swallow it. And I can feel the little chunks of whatever she's using falling into the back of my throat. And she breaks out her little super soaker. She hoses off my teeth. And all that just goes into the back of my throat, too. And I don't know if I should swallow it or not, because it's tooth polish. Is that good for me? I don't know. But you know what? I swallow it anyway, just so I don't drown. Then after they put that foam in your mouth, they never have the good flavors. They always have, like, banana, or mint, or bubble poo surprise. What happened to Creamsicle? And she jams that in my mouth, and I almost freaking died. She jammed her little vacuum down my throat. And I'm sitting there waiting for her to take it out, and I'm listening to the radio. And they're playing the Pina Colada song. And in the background, I can hear somebody getting their tooth drilled. So it's like, if you like Pina Colada, and getting caught in the ree. After about five minutes of that, she finally comes back with her little other dentist friend, and they start talking in code. They start talking in their little teeth talk, and they're like, "Oh, A B Q F L Z J. Oh, but what about L F B Q N N G? Oh, we should probably check out A B C D E F G." And then the other dentist comes over and tells me that I need surgery because a piece of my gum is covering my tooth. And they're afraid there might be a cavity underneath that. Believe me, if there's a cavity, it'll be making its presence known. I will feel it, because they tend to hurt. And before I leave, she flattens out the chair again. She jams her fingers in my mouth and assaults my teeth with dental floss. And her rubber gloves, they never taste like regular rubber gloves. They always taste like she's was like playing with her anus before she put them in my mouth. Oh, that'll teach you to floss. Then at the end, I always ask for stickers, and they always say, okay, just take one. But as soon as I turn around, I take half the reel and jam it in my pocket. Jacked!